Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at fanless mode on the ICX 7150. So this is a command um, that only applies to 7150, at least as of the time of this uh, recording. Um, and it allows you to turn off the fans on the 7150-24P and 48P, so the two PoE model 7150s. It doesn't apply to the 12 port. Uh, and it doesn't apply to the regular 24 and 48 port because they don't have fans anyway. So this only applies to the PoE models. And what's going to happen is when we turn on fanless mode, it's going to greatly restrict the amount of PoE power. However, um, if you're in a classroom or a library or a small office somewhere where you know the fan noise is, is distracting, um, that might be more important than the available PoE power budget. So we'll look at that in, in action here. So let me hop over to my console. So you'll see that I'm on a 7150-48P. So as I said, it only applies to the 24P and the 48P. Um, if I do a show version, uh, we'll see 7150-48P-4X10GR. Uh, so this has the 4 port 10 gig license on it. But uh, it doesn't matter. The fact that it's a 24P or 48P or is what's important here. So if we look at, if we do a show chassis, we'll see that the fans, uh, fan one and two are okay. They're set to auto uh, and the airflow direction is front to back. So you probably can't hear it in the background, but those fans are happily chugging away. Um, and if I do a show inline power, what we'll see here is that we have uh, 370,000 milliwatts or, or 370 watts available of PoE power on this particular model. Um, and so after we turn on fanless mode, we'll see that get restricted. Um, so in order to do it, I'm going to config T. It's under the chassis subcommand. So it's chassis, and then you'll see it's fanless-mode-enable. And then you can do either all the units in your stack or a particular, you know, uh, unit number. So um, in this case, I don't have a stack. I only have one unit, so I'm just going to apply it to one. But, you know, you could apply it to all units or, or a particular if you wish. So we'll just do that. And right away, um, you probably didn't hear it, but the fans shut off immediately. Um, and then we see that you know, it reduces the, the capacity substantially and it enables uh, fanless mode in unit one. So if I now do a show chassis again, we will see that my fans are now set to manual, right? Uh, and then the airflow direction uh, used to say front to back. It now says fanless mode enabled. So, uh, and it's, it's giving me, um, uh, real time that the the fans are down left side and right side fans are down so it's giving you those those notices um, and because they've been shut down right so the other thing if I do a show inline power now so now I am uh, limited to 150 watts right or 150 thousand milliwatts so rather than the 370 watts I had before I'm now limited to 150 so um, in many environments, that is, you know, more than adequate, right? If you've only got, you know, a few phones or a few access points or, or uh, whatever the case, if you've got a limited number of power consuming devices plugged into your switch, um, you know, you could really do 10 uh, or at least nine 15.4 watt devices, right, at full power. So that is plenty for most environments. However, you know, it may or may not be in your environment. So um, anyway, to turn that back on, uh, it's just the same thing. So it's no chassis, uh, fanless, one. And then we see that the, the capacity has now changed. So um, it's added another uh, 220 watts uh, to, for a total of 370 watts. And um, it's disabled. Uh, fanless mode is disabled in unit one and you can hear the fans spin up in the background or maybe you can't but um, anyway so that's it um, pretty handy little command for uh, environments where you you just can't have that fan distraction in the background so that's it thanks for joining and we'll see you next time take care